Welcome readers! Oral storytelling tradition is as old as mankind itself, and with the invention of writing, the practice of handing down wisdom from one generation to another in book form was solidified. Despite the wide array of audiovisual media we have to indulge in these days, reading remains extremely popular not just as a form of entertainment, but also enlightenment and the best books are often those that provide both. The following 10 books are from different times, different genres, different authors, and cover different topics, but the one thing they all have in common is the contents of their pages contain the type of wisdom and illuminating insights that, if heated and appropriately applied, can dramatically change your life. If you are new here, before moving towards video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Number 10. Talking to Strangers by Malcolm Gladwell Former New Yorker journalist turned author Malcolm Gladwell has become something of a cultural phenomenon over the last 20 years with his uniquely positioned psychology-orientated books. Both The Tipping Point and Outliers are fascinating reads, but Talking to Strangers gets the nod here because of its engaging, highly relevant subject matter. In his distinctive style, Gladwell examines the issue of communication and the assumptions we make when dealing with strangers. As individuals, we bring our unspoken prejudices and preconceptions to every new engagement, and these have a powerful effect on the nature and outcome of each interaction, no matter how brief. But talking to strangers goes a step further, looking out how this plays out on a broader scale by using examples like police brutality and the Black Lives Matter movement to illustrate the point. Number 9. The Shack, William P. Young When The Shack was published in 2007, it rocketed to the top of the bestseller lists in a matter of months and received widespread critical acclaim. It also garnered its fair share of controversy. The story follows a father's personal interactions with God as he tries to come to terms with the murder of his young daughter four years previously. Non-believers dismissed it out of hand, of course, and many in the religious community shunned the book for its confusing, even heretical portrayal of God and the Trinity. To get caught up in the debate, however, is to overlook the essence of the story and thus to miss out on its powerful message. You don't have to be religious to be moved by the shack, the core theme of which is forgiveness and making peace with the turbulent past. William P. Young didn't set out to write a novel, let alone a controversial one. Number 8. The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss If you haven't read The 4-Hour Workweek, the title alone is enough to grab your interest. Who doesn't want to make a living working less than an hour a day? That was Tim Ferriss' intention, and it worked. The book became an overnight bestseller. If you have read it, though, you're probably of the opinion that it's heavy on hype and light on substance. And you, along with the army of vocal critics, are not wrong. Or, at least, not entirely wrong. Despite the pleasant, cartoon palm tree on the cover, this book won't allow you to quit your job and get rich lying on the beach, working only four hours a week. So, why is it on this list, then? Because, beneath the deceptively alluring concept, Ferris explores the key issues of time management and lifestyle design, both of which come down to personal choice. The arbitrary societal bonds we all accept are largely self-imposed. Number 7. The Alchemist by Paulo Silho Paulo Silho's well-known story is a treasure trove of profound insights and observations wrapped up in a simple plot involving an Andalusian shepherd boy who follows his dreams in search of answers that are ultimately found in the same place as the corresponding questions within. The moving message coupled with the precision of prose Silho employs make The Alchemist one of the most recognized books of the last 50 years. The book's lofty acclaim can sometimes work against it, however, as these days anything successful is often dismissed as being cheap and commercial, not so in this case. The spiritual lessons the young shepherd learns on his journey are so relevant to human existence and the interpretation of destiny that, although the alchemist is fictional, to dismiss it as make-believe is to miss out on some profoundly moving, 
potentially life-changing wisdom. Number 6. Freakonomics by Stephen Levitt and Stephen J. Dubner A genre-defying, non-fiction work that blends economics, statistics, and pop culture. Freakonomics has become something of a franchise since its 2005 publication, complete with a lecture series, a radio show, a movie, and a website. There's a good reason for this. The book that claims to explore the hidden side of everything more than delivers in intriguingly titled chapters like How is the Ku Klux Klan like a group of real estate agents? And Why do drug dealers still live with their mothers? The answers to these quirky questions, and many more besides, are delivered by way of statistical and economic analysis, which is to say, pure data. There's no airy philosophical debate here, just plain facts and the startling insights they provide. The overriding theme is how human behavior is governed by incentives, and how understanding the latter can reveal a lot about the former. Number 5. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson In the booming self-help book business, full of snake oil salesmen and dime store wisdom, as cheap and worthless as the pages they come in are expensive, Mark Manson's well-known anti-self-help book is a breath of fresh air. Right from the title, he lets the reader know they're in for something different, and the amusing collection of powerful insights he provides are more than worth the cost of admission. The basic premise of the book is that people care too much about the wrong things, and not enough about those which really matter. In the words of the author himself, it's all about deciding on the appropriate and effective F asterisk CK allocation for any given situation. As the title suggests, this is a subtle art. One Manson uses colorful turns of phrase like the above, illustrative anecdotes, and a generous helping of humor to describe to great effect. Number 4. The Prophet by Khalil Gibran Published way back in 1923, Khalil Gibran's transformative collection of prose fables has never been out of print and inspired such great thinkers as the Beatles, Indira Gandhi, and John F. Kennedy. Although the author was of mixed Lebanese-American heritage and the book was written in English, it has been largely ignored by the Western literary establishment over the years, yet still manages to find its way into any discussion of powerful written works regardless. Gibran makes use of 26 prose poems to tell the story of an old man on the verge of returning home after years in exile, imparting his knowledge in sermonized form to a gathered crowd. Major topics of life, love, work, and death are dealt with in a purely spiritual sense, without any religious associations. Number 3. The Road Less Traveled by M. Scott Peck Famed American psychiatrist and author M. Scott Peck was one of the first to propose connections between psychotherapy and spirituality. His defining book The Road Less Traveled, a remarkable personal exploration of the idea, was a tremendous success and has been on the bestseller lists so long it holds a Guinness World Record. Beginning with the memorable line, Life is hard. The book explores the idea that overcoming difficulty begins with accepting it, a concept that has since become a cornerstone of psychology and the self-help profession. There is no sugarcoating here. Peck examines gloomy topics like the myth of romantic love, evil, mental illness, and death, all the while referencing his own struggles, making the insightful revelations all the more profound. Number 2. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki as important as spiritual growth and personal development are, there's no denying that financial health matters just as much. Robert Kiyosaki sought to change that with Rich Dad, Poor Dad, a financial self-help book full of sound advice and so easy to understand that it should be made required reading in schools. The author keys in on one basic aspect of money management that is as simple as it is profound. Poor people work for money, rich people make money work for them. While most individuals spend their lives piling up debt, the financially astute focus on asset accumulation. Kitasaki illustrates the point with stories from his childhood and the contrast between his father, the poor dad, and his part-time employer turned mentor, rich dad, to excellent effect. 
The result is a memorable read full of invaluable insights that can be used by anyone, regardless of their income level or station in life. Number 1. Flow – The Psychology of Optimal Experience by Mihaly C. Sixit Mihaly. With the academic-sounding title and the author's unpronounceable last name, it's tempting to dismiss flow as some boring, scientific text. But anyone who's read it, or is familiar with the flow zone theory it proposes, will know that C. Sixit Mihaly's book represents a groundbreaking psychological analysis of the one thing we all spend our lives in search of, happiness. Flow claims that for each individual, happiness is entirely subjective and that we're most content not when relaxed or at ease, as many tend to think, but when we're engaged in activities where our level of skill is perfectly matched to the corresponding difficulty of the task in question. In this state, we enter a zone in which time loses all meaning, distractions cease to exist, and we're utterly absorbed and consumed by the experience.